So we're here in South Africa's stunningly beautiful Eastern Cape and we're hunting blue wildebeest. I've hunted many times before with the Nduna hunting safaris and I feel like more part of the family than a client. They really do make you feel welcome and if you're going to come to the dark continent, this is the place you should come. Blue wildebeest are one of Africa's most recognisable species. We've all seen the imagery on TV of mass migrations across the plains. They survive just about every difficult encounter that any species could come across here on the dark continent. That's made them very, very difficult animals to hunt. They communicate with each other very vocally when danger is present. Trying to get up close and personal with all those pairs of eyes and all those ears is really, really tricky. I've done my fair share of wildebeest stalking over the year, and I have to say, it's some of my favorite hunting. But this time, they've made us work really hard. We've had a number of very close calls. We've got into the perfect position with a herd in front of us and selected the right bull, only for it to be skylined. What we were looking for was a mature bull, past breeding age, something that we could take out of the herd and let new blood come through and strengthen the gene pool. Evening can be one of the most frustrating times to stalk because the falling sun in the sky and the cooler afternoon temperatures brings all of the animals out to feed. However, time is not on your side. As the sun starts to creep towards the horizon, the sky starts to darken and eventually you just run out of time. A new day brings with it fresh opportunities. We set out early from camp just as the sun was starting to rise above the mountains. We spotted a small bachelor herd of three bulls just across the valley from us. The sun was at our backs and the wind was in our face. The conditions were absolutely ideal. We'd moved a little further down the hillside, trying to keep bushes between us, but more importantly, trying to get into the shade so that we had a backdrop and weren't silhouetted against the skyline. Clint put my sticks out and I got up ready for my chance. Patience in this scenario is absolutely key. Selecting the right animal, waiting for it to move into position, and then giving yourself enough time to take the perfect shot. As soon as I had a clear shot, I took it. The bull skipped in the air and he disappeared into cover. After a few moments, the bull stepped clear of the bushes and then just took a few steps down towards the bottom of the valley leaving a very clear blood trail and tracks for us to follow. And there we found him, a magnificent old blue wildebeest bull and another magnificent animal, thanks to the holistic game management program here at Nduna Hunting Safaris. If only all of my African adventures could be like this.